good deed turns deadly after a 27-year-old teacher of the year is shot giving someone a ride. Fox 14's Chelsea Jones spent the afternoon sorting through the details and joins us now with how the family is coping with the tragedy. Chelsea? Well, Sarah, they tell me Frederick McCray was an eighth grade technology teacher that loved children. He was also a student with two bachelors and two masters under his belt and even two doctorates on the way. The family says their new reality hasn't sunk in just yet. Most people knew him as Frederick McCray Jr., first year teacher and teacher of the year, but she knew him as son. Fred was a loving, caring, talented, creative young man. But when the family hadn't heard of him, they began to worry and called authorities. Concordia Parish Sheriff's deputies found McCray buried underneath this rubble covered in garbage and plywood. Fred's last words to me was, I'm on my way home, mama. Not knowing, not knowing that their Fred with a contagious smile would never make it. Deputies say Jimmy O'Neill Lewis and Cedric Tennessee were arrested and charged with first degree murder after a short investigation pointed them to the two men. You couldn't possibly know what you've done. Investigators say McCray was giving Lewis and Tennessee a ride when they shot him and dumped his body. There won't be another free. Now, memories of McCray linger. His energy and his spirit, his confidence, definitely. Out of great tragedy, this family now has to fall on their faith. We can't straighten it out, but God can straighten it out. Knowing that McCray is in a better place and leaving him with these words. Rest on. Rest on. Police have not released a motive for the attack. The investigation is ongoing. The family tells me funeral arrangements are pending. We'll keep you updated with the latest. In the studio, Chelsea Jones, Fox 14 News. Thanks, Chelsea. And the district responding to the loss saying, quote, Mr. McRae's zeal for education, infectious smile, gentle personality, fashion sense, and love for children will be missed by all of us at Natchez Adams School District. Now 